I hate to say it, but sometimes we just get lazy. I'm not saying anything disparaging about you or me specifically, just a fact of human nature. If we have a computer or device that we use at home, mostly by ourselves, at least where we're not worried about who might access the system, sometimes we get tired of having to log on all the time. Well, I want to offer a method to get around this. Although I have to say now, and I'll say it again later, we must recognize that if we bypass logon processes, we open our systems up to the possibility of unauthorized access and use. It bypasses security, and we choose to do so at our own risk. Conversely, if we work with sensitive data or in a business environment, we may want to add an additional step to help ensure our systems secure. Both are simple options and are located in basically the same place. With that said, let me show you how we can bypass the logon process on Windows 8, as well as require users to press Ctrl-Alt-Delete to log on. These options can be found in the User Accounts dialog, but this is not the same as the nice screen we get if we search for user accounts. Instead, we're going to do a search, but we're going to search using specific letters. So I'm going to go ahead and display the search screen instead of just typing it where we can't see it. I'll do that by pressing Windows Q. What we need to type is net, N-E-T, P-L, and then WIZ. So N-E-T, P-L, W-I-Z. And you'll see on our screen, we get only one option. We'll go ahead and give that a click or a tap. When this dialog box appears, it comes up by default to the Users tab. This is where we see our first option. It's a simple check mark at the top that says users must enter a username and password to use this computer. If we take that check mark off, then we disable that. To keep the setting, we'd simply click or tap OK. Now, as enticing as this may seem, be careful about this. First of all, there is now absolutely no security on your computer as far as logging on goes. This could be a definite problem, especially if it's a mobile device. In addition, what isn't obvious is this makes whatever account was used to enable it, or should I say disable it, the default account. If you're the only user, fine. But if there's more than one account, it's always going to log on to this account. Then somebody would have to sign out and select another account to get to the others. Also, if this is a work computer or otherwise part of a domain, which means logging in is actually controlled by a server, not your local machine, then this option probably won't even be available. So it is here. It is an option. If you get absolutely unbearably annoyed by having to log onto your computer, it is something that you can disable. But just remember, to every choice, there are some trade-offs and be aware of what those trade-offs are. Now let's talk about the second option, which is to make your computer logging on actually more secure. Business environments often require us to have more security and not less. If this is the case, or maybe we run a home-based business where we work with information that should be kept more secure, like medical, personal, or financial information, we can add an additional step of needing to press Control-Alt-Delete to log on. Now, for those who have used computers in the past, you go, well, this is the old way of doing it. And you're absolutely right. But here's why it's important. The main reason for this is not having a real person trying to bypass our logon, it's to keep automated or programmatic attempts that try to display a fake logon screen in order to capture our logon credentials from being able to do so. The option is found in the same dialog box that we were already in, but it's under the Advanced tab. And the check mark that we're looking for is actually this time at the bottom of the window. It says Require Users to Press Control-Alt-Delete. A simple check of that box and then clicking or tapping OK enables this particular feature. While I have to admit there are days, usually very early in the morning, when I kind of sigh heavily as I have to type on my logon password one more time, but I choose not to bypass these because I know why they're so important. So I'm going to go ahead and click or tap cancel and not make either one of these changes. I like to allow people to use their computers and devices in the way that they see fit. Naturally, there are recommendations based on my 18 years of experience but still, what a person chooses to do is still their own. What I strive to do is to show what options there are for customizing the way our devices work, especially if they aren't intuitive or readily known. And these are a couple that really aren't that obvious. You have to know how to get to where you want to be. 
Then I let everyone make their own decision on which they feel are best for their work and their environment. Now you have two options to either bypass or strengthen logon security using your Windows 8 devices, or you may choose to just leave it as it is.